and welcome to another West London Wine School blog and we are looking at this part of Australia on this tasting, Western Australia, down around Perth. Uh, only accounting for around 3 or 4% of the total output of Australia. 95% um, you know, of it lies down here in the South East. There's only a few percent over here in Perth, but what you do find over here in Western Australia is real good quality. Um, and the national acclaim of Australia, 30% of the national acclaim in terms of the awards uh, and, and the medals and so on goes to this area over here. So a third of the percent of the production, but 30% of the national acclaim. That's gonna tell you something about the quality here. It's slightly cooler because it's next to the ocean. And this cooling effect, the Southern Ocean, really gives it that, um, Cooler effect in the vineyard, cooling down the grapes, you do not find the big beefy styles that you do find over here in the major part of Australia, in areas like Barossa and the Central Lands, because of that cooling effect. So you tend to get more European, towards European styles, so a bit more to our palates. Um, to put that into perspective, we're going to try two wines, one from Plantagenet, which is from the great southern region, around Mount Barker, that's in the south tip of the Western Australia, uh, and then one from around Franklin River, which is Amelia Park, this is a Shiraz, uh, which is made by uh, Jeremy Gordon, a very good quality one. Um, only around 13.5% alcohol, uh, because, on both of these, because of that cooler climate. So the Plantagenet, first of all, been producing since around the middle of the 70s, now uh, ran by John Durham, and uh, since around 2007, uh, producing a range of wines there. But more entry level is Omra, and Plantagenet is their higher level one. They do some fantastic wines, stretching the range from Rieslings uh, with their Chardonnays, uh, and also um, their Cabernets as well. Uh, in terms of this wine, it has had a bit of oak maturation, some of it new, some of it one or two year old fill. But it has that lovely, beautiful vibrancy on the nose. It's, yeah, it's lovely sort of melon, slightly pineapple edge to it. Bit of that apple in there, but that lovely toasty new oak does come through. Slightly creamy as well, and that is definitely reminiscent of some decent, decent burgundy. Mm. Wonderful, really good. Soft, lovely acidity that makes it tingle in the mouth. Mouth watering in style. Yeah, lovely upfront tropical fruit. A um, little bit of stone peachiness there, peach and melon character. And that lovely, rich, malolactic touch, a creamy butteriness and a toasty finish. That's a very good wine at only sort of 13, 14 pounds. That's the Plantagenet 2007 Great Southern Chardonnay. Next one then is the Amelia Park 2009 Shiraz. So very, very young. This one is a, um, a real stocking wine, about 18 pounds 50. So more of the boutique premium end from the Franklin River. Cooler climate again, so don't expect the big, beefy, intense Shiraz. It's much more calm or more elegant is a good word here for this. And on the nose, vibrant, vibrant red fruit. It's got characters of those red cherries, almost going towards strawberry-esque elements, but slightly mentholated spices. It's that very youthful violet touch as well. It's a young Shiraz, it's going to get much, much better. Great character, very fruit driven. Mm. Wonderful in style. Great sort of body to it. Little bit of that tannin complexity, but it's nowhere near as big as most tannins you get from Australia. Um, really approachable. A lovely red fruit. So normally with Aussie Shiraz you get big black berry, black cherry, almost confected fruit. But on this one, it's red fruits, it's spices, it's floral and herb as well. So it's a much more approachable style. Definitely towards more European, more French and a very good wine, a very well made wine. Um, Western Australia, if you're not a big fan of the big wines from Australia, Focus on Western Australia because they're much more balanced, much more European, and these are two great examples. Plantagenet Chardonnay and then the Emilia Park uh, Shiraz 2009. Hope you enjoyed it from the land down under. I'll speak to you very soon on another West London Wine School blog. Thank you.